Button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right Yo, it's games and graphics we are making a building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you and today we are going to be making the updated video on how to create your own server a qb core framework server all right so let's go ahead and jump into the requirements i am on 5m's um, download page where you can download your 5m client this is going to be the first thing that we need to download so as soon as you come to this website you want to click right here where it says download client all right next up after you have downloaded 5m you want to come back to this same page and you want to select the forum button right here at the top once you select this forum button at the top it's going to lead you to this page right here, which is 5M's forum. This is also where you can find resources for your server as well. All right. So when you get here and this is your first time here, you want to sign up. OK, you want to create account by selecting sign up. Once you have selected that and created your account, let's go to the next page. The next link in the description is going to lead you here to uh, CFX Keymaster. OK, you are going to need a key in order to run your server. So you're going to go ahead and sign in here as well. And you're going to sign in with the same information that you signed in or signed up at right here. OK, so you're going to use this information to sign up for your Keymaster key. Once that is done, the next link is going to lead you to XAMPP. OK, we're going to need this in order to run our server. So once you get here, you want to select uh, this one right here, I believe is the latest version and you want to download it for 64 bit. It doesn't have anything less than that. So you're going to have to download for 64 bit, but it does have it for Windows and Linux and OS X. All right. So for Windows users, we're going to go ahead and select this to download. Once that has been downloaded, there will be another link in the description which will leave you here. It will lead you here to this 5M build server page. OK, um, at the top, you're going to see two buttons. I always suggest to select the latest recommended. Once you have selected this and have everything downloaded on my left hand side, I have three downloads. All right. The first one is the server build. The second one is 5M and the third one is XAMPP. All right. And on my right hand side, I have um, one of my drives open up. I'm going to install this on uh, my external drive. So I have my external drive opened up. Now we want to go into 5M. So go ahead and open up 5M. Once you double click 5M, as you can see, it's going to add some more folders inside of here as well. And then you're going to have this updating thing. Just be patient until this is finished. All right. Once that is finished, you should see a, uh, a window pop up. OK, it's going to be asking you to go to your game directory and select GTA 5.exe to be able to launch 5M. So what you want to do is search on your computer where you have your GTA 5 installed. I'm going to put this one right here. And then once you select your GTA 5 folder, you want to select the GTA 5 EXE. OK, it's going to say GTA 5 and it will say application for the type. OK, so once you select that, go ahead and select open. After 5M is finished installing, um, it will ask you to sign in and it will open up. You can go ahead and close out 5M. Next, we want to go ahead and install the XAMMPP. Uh, right here okay so double click this there will be a little window popping up a little warning window go ahead and select okay then we will be in our setup select next and you want to leave all this stuff alone and select next then you want to choose the location that you want this at it's already going to be on your c drive by default so go ahead and leave it here and select next then next you want to select your uh, preferred uh, language right here you want to select your language and then select next then after that, it's going to say setup is now ready to begin installing. Go ahead and select next. Then it's going to start installing. This may take a while, but be patient and wait for it to finish. When that's done installing, you will have uh, the completing X X amp set setup wizard. You will have this message right here. What you want to do is go ahead and um, it says, do you want to start the control panel now? You can go ahead and uh, select that. 
leave it selected and select finish. And then this will open up right here. OK, this is our except control panel right here. And we are going to minimize this for right now. OK, so let's go ahead and minimize it. Now we want to go into our server folder. We want to just click inside this. Then we want to scroll all the way down till we see FX server application. OK, we want to double click that. When you double click and run this, it should open up a uh, browser window. OK, um, when it opens up a browser window, it is going to have um, it's going to have this that says type the pin from your terminal and click the link account. OK, so the pin um, is automatically going to be linked as soon as you run it, as soon as you run your TX. Um, your TX server thing is going to be right here. OK, it's going to the pin information is going to be right here. Mine's going to be blurred out, of course. But you want to take this pin right here and you want to enter it over right here. OK, then you want to select link account. All right. After you do this, it's going to ask you to create a backup password. So go ahead and create a backup password and make sure that you enter in the same password down here where it says confirm. So you're going to need to enter in twice. And then after you do that, go ahead and select. I have read and agree to the TOS. And then once you have selected this, you want to go ahead and select create master account. Once that has been created, you are going to be on another page of TX admin. And the first thing it's going to say is welcome with your username, whatever username that you use to sign up with. And it's going to say, since you didn't select any profile when starting TX admin, we selected the default for you. This profile is not configured yet. Let's do this now. So go ahead and select next. Once you select next, this is the part where you could uh, give your server um, a short server name to be used in TX admin interface, chat and discord messages. OK, you can go ahead and change this uh, to whatever server name you want to call it. Um, we'll just call it um, GG's Tut for gaming graphics tutorial. We'll just call it that for right now uh, and then select next. And then next is going to be part three, the deployment type. OK, um, they're going to have a few down here to choose from, but we always want to choose the popular recipes inside here. It says select the template from a curated list of community favorites. This includes QB core ESX and a default template for you to customize. We want QB core. So we're going to go ahead and choose this right here. Select it. And then once you select that, you're going to go down to step four, which is select template. All right. Now you're going to have three templates here. CFX default, QB core framework and ESX legacy. We want to choose QB core framework. Once you select that number five, step number five is going to pop up and it's going to be the data location. OK, this uh, the folder where the server will be deployed to. This folder will contain all your resources and configuration files. We strongly recommend using the path suggested below. Once that has been saved for the data location, the next step, which is six, is finished. We are almost there. You can run this profile by executing this right here. Let's go ahead and select go to recipe deployer. Once you select go to recipe deployer, you're going to be sent right back here. All right. So right here, it has the whole recipe of your server. We don't want to change nothing in here. We just want to go ahead and select next. When you select next, this is the part where you put in your license key from earlier in the video where I had you go ahead and sign up for a key master key. This is where that key master key goes. So go ahead and locate your key and then input your key right here. After you enter in your key master key, let's go ahead and uh, bring back our X amp control panel right here. And we want to select start for the first two, which is Apache and then my SQL. All right. Uh, Windows thing going to pop up. Go ahead and select allow access. All right. So you want to make sure that you have started these two right here. Apache and MS M uh, my SQL. All right. Then we're going to minimize out of that. Now we are going to select run recipe. All right. So you have to start the XM app before you run the recipe. All right. Once that is done um, loading up or installing, uh, go ahead and select next when it says done and then you will have everything here. OK, um, all your information and stuff like that, as well as um, this is pretty much your server CFG right here. OK, so you have the option to um, to cancel and return the setup or save and run server. All right. So before we select save and run server, 
what we want to do now is go back inside of that server folder that we downloaded earlier as you can see I have it opened up right here on the left hand side and on my right hand side I have my drive opened up that I have uh, my TX data files that I just installed okay so what we're gonna do is look for that drive for that location that we saved earlier I'm here on my drive and I'm looking for the TX data folder inside that TX data folder is where I'm going to be taking all of the server files and placing them at so I'm gonna go over here press control A to select everything inside the server folder and I'm going to drag and drop that over here to the TX data folder just like so. So whenever you're looking for your folder, go to the drive you installed your folder on and look for TX data. Inside there, you will find your FX server application to run your server. And you will also find the QB core framework folder, go inside that, and you will find your resources folder right here, as well as your server CFG um, file where you can add in new resources, all right? And then uh, select save and run server. You should see the council thing pop up right here in front of you as it's running all of the resources. All right, when it's done running all the resources in your server and you see this picture thing right here, then it's okay to run your server. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our um, 5VM and you can run 5VM just by double clicking this right here. As soon as you open up uh, 5VM, you should see this right here. It's going to say connect to uh, your local host. Pretty much all my information is hidden for tutorial purposes. So you want to select this right here to run your new server. Say 5M needs to restart. Go ahead and select OK. Select yes. And as you can see right now, we're loading into our server. All right, once you first start inside of your server, you're going to be approached with this. This is where you can create your character. Go ahead and select the empty slot and um, you will have the option to create your character. Now, we're not going to go ahead and create a character and go through all that. I'll probably save that for a whole different uh, tutorial on um, how to use these different resources from QB Core's framework. All right. So this part is easy. Everybody knows how to create a character. Once you create a character, then you will spawn inside of your server. All right. So we're going to go ahead and end the tutorial right here. But if this helps y'all out to create your own QB Core server, or if you just enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. E and share the video with y'all friends that are into modding GTA 5. Y'all's games and graphics. I'm out of here until next time. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.